Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, September 1st, 2024, and this is our Daily Bread. The title is, Standing Strong Like Jesus. It's from John chapter 19, verses 1 to 16, and the key verse is 10. It says, Do you refuse to speak to me? Pilate said. Don't you realize I have power either to free you or to crucify you? Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They clothed him in a purple robe and went up to him again and again, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they slapped him in the face. Once more Pilate came out and said to the Jews gathered there, Look, I am bringing him out to you to let you know that I find no basis for a charge against him. When Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, Pilate said to them, Here is the man. As soon as the chief priests and their officials saw him, they shouted, Crucify! Crucify! But Pilate answered, You take him and crucify him. As for me, I find no basis for a charge against him. The Jewish leaders insisted, We have a law, and according to that law, he must die, because he claimed to be the Son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid, and he went back inside the palace. Where do you come from? he asked Jesus. But Jesus gave him no answer. Do you refuse to speak to me? Pilate said. Don't you realize I have power either to free you or to crucify you? Jesus answered, You would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. From then on, Pilate tried to set Jesus free. But the Jewish leaders kept shouting, If you let this man go, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who claims to be a king opposes Caesar. When Pilate heard this, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judge's seat at a place known as the Stone Pavement, which in Aramaic is Gabbatha. It was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about noon. Here is your king, Pilate said to the Jews. But they shouted, Take him away! Take him away! Crucify him! Shall I crucify your king? Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar, the chief priests answered. Finally, Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. Daily Bread First, Responding to Injustice with Grace Jesus' trial and suffering under Pilate reveal how extreme human injustice can be. Despite his innocence, he faced mockery and harsh punishment. This teaches us about the importance of grace and forgiveness, even when we're treated unfairly. You may deal with unfair situations, conflicts, or misunderstandings. Instead of reacting with bitterness or revenge, respond with patience and understanding. Remember, Jesus endured more suffering than we can imagine. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21 says, To this you were called, because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. Let's aim to follow Jesus' example, even in the face of injustice. Second, standing firm under pressure. Pilate faced intense pressure from religious leaders and the crowd to crucify Jesus, even though he found no fault in him. Similarly, we often encounter peer pressure that challenges our morals and decisions. When you face choices that go against your faith, stand firm. Whether it's resisting the urge to cheat, avoiding gossip, or upholding your purity and integrity, remember that you have the power to make the right decision, even under pressure. Seek guidance through prayer, and the advice of trusted friends or mentors. Let's commit to standing firm and making choices that reflect our dedication to following Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, in a world that often chooses the easier path, help me stand firm in my convictions 
and respond to injustice with grace. Strengthen me to uphold what is right and true, reflecting your love and justice in all my actions. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, stand firm in truth.